All right, Twan Biz, Twan Biz, we're back, we're back, guys. Uh, yeah, um, game number four on the complete U.S. retail Sega Saturn collection as played on the the D thirty two E one W U. Um, it's a nice game. Um, what we got showing you for today, it's uh, All-Star Baseball 97, starring Frank Thomas. Um, <laughs> it's our fourth game, and there's already two baseball games. But, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's actually Frank Thomas' second baseball game for the uh, Saturn. He might be the only person to have two games on the Saturn. Uh, first one was, like, Big Hurt Baseball, right? Obviously, we'll get to that. I think, like, Frank Thomas Big Hurt or Big Hurt, whatever. We'll get there eventually. Um, all right, so cool part about this is you see we have both the um, Major League Baseball and Players Association licenses. So we're going to get players and the, and the teams and the logos and the stadiums. Look at this intro right here. I mean, what do you know about Frank Thomas? Um, one of the best baseball players of the 90s, Hall of Famer, MVP. Uh, played basically most of his career on the White Sox. Um, I think he was on Oakland for a little bit. Um, he's one of the guys that was the big in uh, steroid, like trying to get people to test for steroids. He was against steroids. He always said, test me, test me, test me. I don't do this stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of funny now. He's in those Nugenics ads where they have the testosterone. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, he was always against, like, any kind of enhancements. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Thomas was a beast. Like, if he truly wasn't doing steroids, then, I mean, the guy was the guy was big. Um, all right, so what can we say about this? Music's kind of cool. Um, talk about the game itself. I bought the game brand new, sealed about two years ago for, I think I paid, like, $40 for it, um, which seems like a lot, but... It, was, it really wasn't around even two years ago. Um, you know, I checked eBay, completed listings, sold listings. It was a complete copy, not even sealed. It sold for $130. Like, dollars. Um, and then if you check what's out there now, there's like a there's a copy for like $40. Um, complete. If you don't own the game and you're trying to go complete Saturn, you should buy the game right now. Because it's one of those games. Panzer Dragoon Saga, yeah, okay, it's a $600 game, but you can buy it. They're, they're out there. There's 10, 15 copies on eBay at any given time. This game, you're lucky if you find one. All right, well, so, uh, options, not the best. Uh, we'll go stereo. Um, kind of a cool menu. You can kind of see it's a little bit upgraded. They're trying to do more with the stuff. I'm going to do one inning. Should be enough. Alright, well, you guys know. Watch my other one. It's only going to be Red Sox, Yankees. Oh, and we're playing it on the D32. Did I mention that? Um, if you go on YouTube, right? Go to YouTube right now and search D32. E1WU and I basically have all the videos. Um, I think there's Retro RGB had a video. Oh, look at this Fenway Park. We had uh, Yankee Stadium and then what I say, Candlestick in my other video. Look at this 3Com Park at Candle. 3Com, oh man, they've probably already been bought like 10 times over. Or bankrupt. They were probably a dot com, right? Um, yeah. All right, well, we got Nomar on the team. We're going with Aaron Seeley. How about that? Okay. Player sub. I don't want Aaron Seeley, no. He sucks. Dude, look how bad the team was. Wakefield. 
I'm gonna go with Wakefield. Oh shit, did I even pick him? Or did I pick Sealy again? What the hell did I do? Jeff Supon? No. I don't know what happened there. Oh, the menu went up. Did you see that? That really fucked with me. Why would they do that? Alright. Opposing team, they got they got Jeets. Andy Pettit's going for them. Wow. They didn't have Clemens yet either. Clemens was on the Blue Jays at this point. Uh, yeah. Long time to load here. Wow. Welcome to All Star Baseball '97, featuring Frank Oh, Thomas. John Miller. This is John Miller, your play-by-play -play announcer. You watch ESPN Baseball, Sunday Night Baseball, the '90s. John Miller and Joe Morgan. So I got a knuckleball. All right, so here's the cool part of this game. You'll see it here in a second. Um, we got. This up here, right? The pitch, the new pitch thing, right? So change up, curveball, fastball, knuckle. So whatever button you hit on the directional, and then you hit C, and then the pitch starts, and then from there you need to get your hand off of the directional and more towards the the aim, the aim where you want it to go. So if you just keep holding it in that direction, it's not going to work. One and oh. I was trying to just throw knuckles all day right now. Line drive to center for you. He makes the catch. Uh, one out, one out, one down, one down. All right, so graphics. Um, I do kind of like the animations a little bit. Like, watch my pitcher kind of moves, and you see the guys in the my uh, my outfield kind of move, um, which is kind of unique. Um, but it looks very washed out. Like, it looks pretty tight. I mean, the scan lines look great on the D32. It really kind of pops, but in terms of that, but like the the it just looks kind of washed out. He throws to second. Wow, he got a double. But actually, you can tell it is Fenway Park. I will say, if you check it, even though it looks like we're playing in a freaking, like, Beijing or something over there on the left, it looks so, like, dark and hazy. But maybe that's what they were, it was kind of one of their tactics to kind of just get the game through the door, you know? Um, yeah. Strike, on two. Let me give him the knuckle. The old bean ball. Uh, knuckle got a little out of, out of control from Wakefield. Line drive to left. Shit. Oh, I... The last game, I wish I kept that one, but the recording wasn't good. I blew it, beat him 5 nothing. Not today. The old bean ball. Oh, now I beaned him? Let up a run? I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm just getting fucked. Duncan. Oh, this has turned into a, just a disaster. Oh, I don't understand why. Like, you should have seen the last game. It was like they couldn't do anything on me. Grounded to short. He's out in second. Fuck! Now hitting Joe Girardi. 
Well, won't be a tie in this one. Right. All in one. This will be over in one inning for sure. One ball, one strike. Strike. Fastball for a strike. One and two. Strike. It goes down swing. And that brings the inning to an end. Wow. After one half inning, it's the Yankees four. The Bo Sox, nothing. Oh, uh, boy. Well. Now pitching for All right, so B bunt, A swing, or C swing. you got to basically swing like the second he makes his motion. And I hate that. You see how he hits it and it makes that pop noise? That's so annoying. Line drive to center field. That's like the loudest thing. It should not be that loud. He's sitting on the mound. All of a sudden you hear boom, boom, because he's hitting the ball in his glove? No. Just what the fuck? Grounded to short. He's out in second. Swing it. All in one. Forgot, I forgot my cardinal rule. Strike. All in two. Unless they throw that, then you got no chance. Line drive to center field. Out. He's out in second. What? Should not happen. Come on, that's bad. That's out. bad. That's really, that's really bad. That shouldn't have happened like that. That's bad game mechanics. Strike all in one. Line drive to center field. We'll do it again, probably. Look at it. Almost, almost fucking did. Horrible game. No, it's not a horrible game. No, it's all right. 3D baseball, though. I think I like that better, to be honest. This game's a little washed out. Line drive to center field. Oh, wow. He throws home. Wow, you see that? They fucked up. I would have been out. <laughs> wow, horrible game. He should have just kept the ball. It was out at second, but he threw it home. Wow. Game AI is bad. Look at the mound. Even the home plate doesn't even look like it's fucking. It's popped up in the uh, He makes the play. All right. Well, that was it. The final score. We lost. The New York Yankees. Four. Um. The again, Boston final Red verdict Red on this one. one. I think I'd rather play 3D baseball, but I don't think this is that bad. It's def. It's still playable. Um. D32. I think it looks really pretty nice. Um, yeah, and so there's a kind of a quick little review here. Um, gotta love the funky beats at the end here, for sure. Um, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is the, the game number four. Um, you know, we'll move on. I think we got, um, Alone in the Dark is the next one, I think. Number two. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll do that one today, too. I got nothing going on, so. All right, see you guys.